All right, thank God it's Friday. Well, there's so much happening in the entertainment scene. In fact, Barbie dropped yesterday for many people who were able to attend the premiere. And it's officially dropped today. We're going to talk about that. But let's start with this one where Nigerian rapper and ex-Big Brother Niger winner Lee Khan has just bagged a master's degree in international relations. The 29-year-old star took to social media yesterday to share videos and pictures from the graduation ceremony with a caption extending appreciation. Now, he put out this. He says, congratulations to me, uh, MA International Relations. Thanks to everyone who made this possible. Forever grateful and excited for what's to come. Thanks to my lecturers, and I'm proud to be an alumni at Portsmouth Uni. And he put a couple of hashtags. Now, several fans have taken to celebrate Lecon uh, for the new educational acquisition from a top England university. Now, he joins the growing list of Nigerian entertainers who have recently uh, acquired educational qualifications. If you recall, DJ Copy bagged a second master's degree. All right, let's move from that one. Uh, okay, let's watch this video. <laughs> How beautiful to watch. Um, it's tour season at the moment, and several Afrobeat stars have taken to thrill fans in different stadiums, arenas across various parts of the world. Now, less than 24 hours ago, Yemi Alade took to the stage in Montreal, Canada, and gave fans an exceptional performance. In fact, videos circulating show the crowd vibing and singing along to the Nigerian singer, often called Mama Africa. Now, the multi-award winning star first announced the tour in May and has since hit the stage across the US and the UK, including New York, London, and now Canada. Let's watch this video. Talk about the perfect song. Like they say, there's nowhere like Africa. Now, Yemi has uh, 12 more shows to go, including a heavy anticipated performance in Tanzania sometime in August. Now, with a catalog of about eight music projects, the 34-year-old performer, known for her incredible use of different African languages and cultures through her music, is now taking the international scene with energetic performances on this tour. Uh, the Grammy-certified star left a note uh, to her audience where she says the love in Montreal uh, was more than my heart could fathom. Every one of you in the audience truly put out a show for me, interrupting my set countless times just to chant my name like an anthem over and over. Uh, your passion fueled me last night. Uh, you have rekindled the fire. Uh, it's beautiful to watch, honestly, African stars perform across the world. And the crowd has loved her everywhere she's been through. So who says she can't sell out shows as well? Uh, it's beautiful to watch. Finally, let's head to East Africa, where popular musician and dancer Nasib Abdul Isak, popularly known as Diamond Platinums, has reportedly uh, spotted at Julius Nyerere uh, International Airport kissing his signee, fellow musician Zuchu. Now, the alleged photo uh, hit the internet yesterday, uh, the 20th of July, as Diamond was set off for Canada for a show. Now, the two stars are believed to have been dating since December 2021, but kept it a secret. Although, even till now, neither of them post romantic pictures together on their social media. In fact, many are now speculating marriage. Uh, someone pointed at Diamond's sister through an Instagram post, revealed that a wedding is coming up. Now, in the photo, the pair appeared um, in an Islamic guard, uh, clothing, of course, particularly for the occasion. Uh, Diamond had um, a kazu on and Zuchu had a uh, hijab because uh, they're both, of course, believed to be Muslims. Uh, I, honestly, until Diamond comes out to say it, uh, what do we believe? Uh, but they've gotten quite close, quite cozy, cozy uh, in music videos during setting performances as well. And uh, I don't know why fans are still surprised. Maybe they're just waiting for them to come out and say, okay, we're officially dating. Uh, but they've never really openly said that, neither of them, or posted about it online. So uh, we're, we're still obsessed with their love. Anyhow.
<laughs> Anyhow, we see it. All right, now it's time to talk about Barbie. The entire world uh, has anticipated for several months. Uh, not only with the anticipation, there's also been heavy global advertising. Uh, Barbie has premiered in several countries across the world over the past few days. Just yesterday, Thursday the 20th, uh, the Warner Brothers film premiered here in Lagos, Nigeria, and several of the country's big stars were there in pink on the purple carpet uh, representing Barbie and Ken. Let's watch this. Lagos, Nigeria, for the Barbie movie premiere. The amount of pink I have seen tonight, it is just breathtaking. From cutting candy to mess looks like mine, is endless, and I love it. The Ibo Blondie of New Central is here to bring you your Barbie dreams to keep it locked. I mean, it's Barbie season. You either go pink, blue, all the bright colors, or you go home. Okay. So today, I came as Balloon Barbie okay. to celebrate. <laughs> It was pink and I just decided to break the rules. I mean rules are meant to be broken, right? My favorite Barbie movie is Barbie Mariposa. I watched it over and over again. I love Mariposa yes. too! I had a Barbie doll I used to make like dresses for, I would make skirts for, and I feel like that was like my formative process, my formative season. And every time I think about Barbie, I'm excited because I feel like he played a major role in who I am today, so yeah. And then the element of surprise is behind. Oh, okay, okay. A mixture of Barbie Ken okay. and Street Fighter Ken. Okay. So yeah, just whichever it turns out to be, I'm going to be that Ken. Okay. What are you expecting? You know what? I'm expecting fabulous. That, that's the only way I can say it. I just want fabulous. I want pink. I want woman power. I want, you know, I just want everything nice. Uh, I think I'm going to do more of laughing because I know it's going to be more very comical and comedy. And um, yeah, so I'm expecting to laugh. I'm expecting to relieve our childish moments and generally just expecting to catch fun. Glamour. Fun. I'm expecting a good storyline altogether. I'm expecting a very fun movie. Okay. Fun all the way, cute, exciting, all of that stuff, yeah. I have literally lived the Barbie dream here tonight. It's been absolutely amazing. Took me down memory lane to all the Barbie movies, the Barbie cartoons from 12 Dancing Princesses to a whole bunch of it. I loved it. Love talking to every single person here and I love living the entire pink dream because I will not even deny the fact that pink is my best color and it's the co best color of almost everybody here tonight. It's been absolutely amazing. And of course, the Ibo Blondie of New Central brought you all the tea. Bye-bye. Evo Blondie definitely had fun, I'm jealous. All right, but Barbie is an iconic toy character and uh, the first live action movie could potentially sell Barbie into the cinematic universe. And if successful, as predictions are saying, that once it drops, it's gonna be between 95 million US dollars to 110 million. Fans across the world are anticipating for many years. In fact, in 2009, the project was first set up at Universal and then to Sony, but they all failed. So. I guess uh, we're going to have to watch this one and find out. Uh, the actors play an exceptional job and it drops today. And so, I mean, what are we waiting for? Olive, you're wearing pink, so I have to call you Barbie. Hi, Barbie. I'm a, hi, Ken. Also, I'm we're a sorry. Barbie girl. I'm, I'm, very, I'm completely not interested in all of this. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Anything Barbie related, count me out. Because I, 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 I honestly, I was, saying to, I was saying to Olive that I don't understand, you know, mm. what's going on? Why are we doing, you know, this whole Barbie craze in Nigeria, in Lagos? Well, it's social media. Can we, can, we really, can we really, really, you know, say that there's a lot of Nigerians who are like Barbie fans? Well, I guess we're going to find out. My own is, I mean, the publicity has been wonderful, mm -hmm. organic to some extent. Are you going to watch the, it? The film better be sweet. Are you going sure to see the movie? Well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Stop. Stop. All right. I saw Mission Impossible yesterday, though. That how one I love. But fingers crossed. Thank you so much, Tam Dandy, for bringing us all the news. Bye, Ken. Dandy. Bye, Barbie. <laughs> Bye, Sam Dandy. <laughs>